Hi everyone, this is my first um, video tutorial. Somewhat tutorial, I'm just going to discuss what I did um, to this mini album that everyone's doing. It's a phenomenon. Uh, I would like to thank everyone that's, you know, made these videos on YouTube and all the tutorials. So it is a um, mini album learning and process kind of thing. Um, this is my first mini um, paper bag album. I use regular ribbons, dollar store, um, chipboard, um, ink stamped it with my favorite color. Um, what's it? I think it's taupe. And I just embossed it with a clear embossing powder. So it doesn't matter what embossing powder you have, just as long as you have it, the correct color ink stamp then that's fine and, you know just, and then just use your heat gun and emboss it uh, dollar store minis right here that I put on here and it has a dimensional so um, the papers I used the Indian summer uh, fall mat stack from DCWV it's a four and a half by six and a half but it cut down to size so you can use whatever you want to use you know purchased everything that I didn't get from the dollar store from joanne.com because they do ship to P.O. Box so everyone that are overseas um, yes they do ship to P.O. Box and sometimes they have great discounts so thank you joanne.com for doing that um, these are not primas they're just regular flowers I forgot who they're from but yeah um, this page here um, and use the rub on it says you're the one and you can just put a tag in here as well same thing with the flowers mm. now you can put other stuff here or you can journal on here um, I can use the Stampin' Up um, tab punch here make it unique instead of just using regular circle or punch or circle punch um, these papers are from Kane Company um, they're like decoupage paper stuff, but you know, they're like, uh, I don't know, they're like 44, pa 44 pieces in here from K & Company, and I love it because it's so vintage looking, so you don't have to do all of that inking, and which one, I'm, you know, I'm just now learning from Bona and Arlene, and um, this I just got from the dollar store as well um, all these you know many many bag a paper bag album you know you have a lot of stuff that you can put in here tags pictures I use these fibers from the hundred yen as well hundred yen is dollar store here in Japan that's what they call hundred yen hundred yen store which is Daiso um, you get the journal tag here and I just use a little um, mini clip there and this is just a, an accordion um, paper that I folded into one, two, three, four and you just put a ribbon and just tie it in the front so you can either journal in there or you can put pictures same thing um, I'm going to try to put some other stuff on here. It's just I glued this too far up that I can't put anything else in. I'm supposed to make it a pocket, but I didn't do it right. So ladies, make sure you have enough width to put your glue and your um, journaling um, pads in there. And I did the same thing again here. And this... I didn't know you can purchase these feathers from joanne.com or your other craft store, but I used um, a feather boa and I just cut the piece that I thought was going to um, be perfect and that's what I did. Love it. But now I'm ordering more stuff from joanne.com because they do have it there. So, yes. And I have a tab here. But I think I glued it too far down, but it got stuck. It's okay. And again, another um, mini um, 
book that you can put pictures and journaling and I just use this um, Velcro, just cut a piece of it. You can get that from any craft store, clothing, um, you know, any of those. And I think this is like, um, what do you call it? Not a jupe rope, but gosh, I can't find the words. I forgot the name of it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, it's my first mini um, paper bag album and my first video. Thank you.